For the first time, West High School students and staff will start the school year off with air conditioning. During a press conference unveiling the new AC upgrades earlier this month, Principal Mia Martinez Lopez stressed how vital this upgrade was. I want you all to imagine how difficult it was to teach and learn in an environment that can be described as miserably hot for several months of the year. West is one of two dozen schools that was selected to get air conditioning after voters approved a bond back in 2020. Schools were ranked and chosen based on equity and heating indices. So far, 11 of the 24 have finished their AC upgrades. Another 13 are still in progress. Six more DPS schools will have their AC and cooling upgraded, completed in the next upcoming weeks. The remaining seven schools are scheduled to have their AC work done next year. That means more than 40 DPS schools will start their school year off without air conditioning. And 31 of those have no plans right now to get AC anytime soon. But the district says they're not ignoring this. The 31 remaining schools um, that, are, that are still a priority for the district. We have not providing these facilities. DPS says they'll be prioritizing those upgrades when funding opportunities pop up for West. After decades spent without air in the classrooms, Martinez Lopez says this change will make a world of difference for students. Now they can focus on their learning and not the temperature. Now, for the schools that don't have air conditioning, DPS has heat mitigation strategies in place to help. They use portable cooling devices, fans. They even purge the buildings at night to help let that cool air in. And DPS has building managers monitoring the temperatures throughout the day, and they are ready to call a heat day if necessary.